Oh, we're in already. Oh my god, it's full of money. Hey everybody, welcome back to another insane video. This time we're going to be breaking into a safe. I know for sure there is something inside this. I could feel it when I pick it up. I could feel it like moving around in there. But I have no idea what it is. It could be money, jewelry, gold. I have no idea or it could be nothing. But we're going to find out what is inside here. I think there's going to be something incredible in there. It must be something good. Why else would they lock it up? It has to be something amazing. We're going to be using the old fashioned method of hammer and chisel to break into the safe. It might not be the best method. It might not work. We're going to try it. But one thing is for sure, we're going to get into the safe. Here's some background information. We actually salvage abandoned buildings for a side job. We make quite a bit doing it. And it's one of the most exciting jobs ever. I love it. We get to go to crazy places and we get to find crazy things. It is so much fun. We've actually been to abandoned banks, abandoned jails, abandoned malls, abandoned water parks, abandoned amusement parks. We have been everywhere, guys. We have actually found money, jewelry, guns. We've actually found stashes of money, stashes of jewelry. We found hidden guns and purses. We found cars, boats. We have found so much stuff. It's incredible. We actually found this inside of an abandoned house. I'm not sure why the owners left this behind. We do this by getting salvage rights from the demolition company before they demolish an abandoned building, so we do this legally. We're not going into places and stealing things. Really quick, before we break into this, I have a little deal I want to make with everybody here. So, whatever is inside the safe, it could be like a safe full of money, it could be a safe full of nothing, safe full of junk, but whatever is inside there, I'm going to split it with all of you guys. Right now, make sure you're subbed and make sure you left a like. Make sure post notifications are on. Make sure you go follow our Instagram page, find the link in the description. And make sure you leave a comment down below saying I'm in. If you're a returning squad member, make sure you go down below and say I'm back. We missed you so much. We want to know that you're here. I'm so excited to see what's inside there. Let me know what you guys think's inside there. Oh, we're in already. Oh my god, it's full of money. We're rich. Look at that. There's stacks of money in here. God, look at all this. That is insane. Oh, look at this. These gotta be like super expensive watches. Oh, a pocket watch. Oh my god, we just hit the jackpot. Oh, what's in here? It's a box of jewelry. Look at that. This is awesome. I was not expecting to find anything in the safe. Look at that, we got stacks of money and jewelry. Okay, let's take a look at some of this. That's a fossil watch. This one might be real gold. That's a vantage watch. Cool, and we got like an old pocket watch. Okay, that is probably one of my favorite things right there. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, look at that. That might be gold too. This looks like really nice jewelry. I'm not sure how much it's worth. Looks expensive though. That is awesome. We're going to take good care of this. Make sure we keep it in great condition. Look at that. Got an old pocket watch and two watches. We literally just found stacks of money. You can't make this up. I feel like a bank robber right now. Look at that. I think it's all $1 bills, but that's got to be at least $100 just in $1 bills. That is amazing. Stacks of money inside of the safe. Oh my god. We're gonna count this later, but we also got this box of jewelry back here. Look at that. There's rings. I think there's gold in there too. Look at There's earrings, rings. I think that's a necklace right there. Oh my god. Let's check this out. This looks expensive. That is nice jewelry in there. Let's see. We're gonna see if these are actually gold and silver. Can you see a stamp on that one? Okay, right there. Can you see that? says 9.25 inside of the ring. It's really hard to see. It's like super tiny. You can barely see it. But that is a silver ring right there. Let's see if these are silver too. Oh, that one's silver too. Oh my god. Let's see. That one's got to be too. Oh, yes. Three silver rings in there. Oh, yeah. Those are silver earrings too. Look at that. Look at the gemstones in those. Oh my god, those are cool. They look old too. And I think this is gold too. These might be real gold in there. Yeah, that one looks gold. These both look like real gold. Can we find a stamp on there? There's something really tiny written on that. I can't read it. Let's check that one. 
They look like real gold. We just got gold and silver. That is incredible. We might take this to like a jewelry and see how much this is worth. That is awesome. A little box of jewelry. What else is inside there? Got random envelopes. What do you think's in there? I think there's money in there. Look. Can you see the shadow right there? There might be money inside of these. Okay, let's open these up. Old envelopes. <gasps> My god. There's money inside there. <gasps> oh, yeah. Now that is money, baby. That's 40 bucks right there. Look at that. And these other envelopes have money in them, too. <gasps> okay. Open that one up. <gasps> Look at that. There's a bunch of 20s in there. Oh, my God. How much money is this? It's got to be at least 100 right there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160 bucks right there. Okay. Okay. That is 200 bucks right there. Just in 10s and 20s. Let's see. Is this $100 bills? Maybe. Let's open it up. There might be hundreds inside of there, baby. Oh, yeah. Wait, those are 50s, but still, oh my god. 200 bucks and 50s right there. Oh my god, that is $400. $400 we just found, plus all these dollar bills and the jewelry. Dude, this has got to be at least $1,000 worth of money and jewelry in this safe. Oh, that is unbelievable. That is awesome. We've got some papers right here, like paperwork. Okay, this is actually a will. Okay. And it has a name on it, too. Now I feel like we should give the money back. That's probably the right thing to do. If we could find the owner, his name is right there. Maybe we'll look it up. We're going to have to blur this out because we don't want to give away their private information, but this is somebody's will right there. It's really weird to be reading that. I've never read a will before. If we can contact the owner, we'll try to get them their stuff back. And there's also another paper down there, and like a wallet thing. This is actually a cemetery deed. That is so weird to be reading. I have never read one of these. So somebody died, that's kind of sad. I feel like we should give all this stuff back, like, this is probably somebody's life savings, they must have forgot it or died or left it all in the house. So we're going to try to contact the owner and see if we can give them their stuff back. Also, we found this wallet. That must be the owner right there. We're going to have to blur that out. I can't believe what we just found. We found a loaded safe full of money and jewelry. That is an amazing find. This is like a once in a lifetime find. We rarely come across anything this cool. A quick recap of what we found. We got three stacks of $1 bills, three envelopes of money that equal $400. Got some nice jewelry right there. Old pocket watch, some watches, little box of jewelry. And we actually have... The owner's will. Let's see how much money we have in total. It would be awesome if we could send all of you guys money. Let's see, we got these stacks of $1 bills like I just showed. We know we got 400 bucks in the envelopes. Let's see how many $1 bills we got. Take a guess. I think there's probably 100 in there, but could be more, could be less. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 100, okay. okay. I guess these are all stacks of 50, so let's not even count this. There's got to be 50 in there, too. That is 100 bucks right there, so what do we got? 550 bucks. We could make it rain right now. Look at that. Look at all that money, guys. Look at that green. We might not keep this money. Sure, it would be nice to have all this extra money, but hey, we're going to do the right thing and try to contact the owner. Their will was inside of the safe, so we have their name, and if we can find the person who owns this, we can get the stuff back to them. I already know. A bunch of people are going to be like, oh, you stole somebody else's stuff and raided it. Why'd you take their stuff? In reality, this was actually an abandoned house that was going to be demolished, and here's what would have happened if we didn't take it. The house would have been demolished on top of this and all of it would have been lost forever. The owner's lucky we found this and we could actually get it back to him. If we weren't so nice, we would just keep all this for ourselves. It was enough excitement just to open this up and find a safe 
full of money and jewelry. That was enough for me. If we do get to keep this, hey, you guys are going to get a cut of this too. I'm not a greedy guy. I like to share with my fans. And if you're a fan, I'm going to try to share it with you. So definitely, definitely, definitely be waiting for an update. Maybe we'll find the owner and get it back to him. Otherwise, guys, we're going to do a giveaway for all this money. Squad out. We'll see you in the next crazy video.